and I need to really, really, really properly concentrate on this account um, because my job is interesting. I think surprising the press was very respectful. Yeah, it was always going to be respectful. I know everyone like everyone just thinks we're all mad and and um, and we'll just do all the mad stuff, <clears throat> but we really don't. Yeah, Sam, and I'm definitely going to do more lives, mate. Um, I'm going to try and go live at least once a day. Um, I was so blown away the other day. I was on, oh, I don't know if anyone was on it, but I was on, um, um, how does it work? Do the serves get in touch with you and others? Sometimes, a lot of the time. Definitely talk to a lot of people. I talk to more people than people think you do. Um, yeah, no, so I was on live the other day on a film set. I don't know if anyone was watching it. And I'm sat in the van. You know, I've got like a, it's, all, it's a bit messy, but I've got a van. There's a toilet. Um, I've got a van, like, you obviously sit in, it's blacked out in the back. No one knows you're in it. It's all, you know, it's all secret squirrel stuff. And um, are you papping anyone today? Uh, I, I, maybe later on but I've got an exam being done at two o'clock that men of my age have done so that's I'm off to the doctors to have that done uh, so that's fun um, yeah so I'm on this live on this film set just chatting and trying not to give the location away because it was a pub in, uh, in East London just in case any other paps are watching so I'm doing this live, and then all of a sudden one of the crew goes, there's someone on live on TikTok here. And that was it. They wandered around and saw the van. That was awkward. With your pictures, can you choose what newspaper they're publishing? Yeah, obviously it all depends where I send them. Um, if this is going to be a reference to the sun, yes, I sell pictures to the sun. One of our biggest clients. Uh, they didn't actually say anything to me uh, on that film set, and the only reason they didn't say anything <laughs> is because um, London's finest, you know, Khan's London, such a special little place, uh, Toyota Prius pulled up and stole a load of gear. So they were preoccupied with the thieves that had stolen a load of gear. Have you ever felt threatened? I've been attacked once in 14 years. And I wouldn't say I felt threatened, but it came on top pretty quick. Um, and I signed a for I had to sign something. Oh, I was I was proper hoodwinked that night. I've got pictures, but I can't show anyone. But yeah, once in um, once in fourteen years, have you had any bad experiences with celebs? Not really. Some have got something to say, but that's why I don't really engage anymore. I do everything from the van. It makes life a lot easier. Um, it will be 15 years at Christmas I've been doing this. 15 years. Uh, now I was attacked by a celebrity. Um, a footballer. I'm not naming them, so don't ask. Um, and it was 10 years ago. Um, and that's actually, you can see it, there's a scar there on my nose. It was stamping on my head. That was fun. Are you a local lad? Uh, local to where? Salmon. Who is your favourite celeb? God, that's hard, you know. I've met loads of people in the business. No, you wouldn't be able to Google it. There's no pictures, no nothing. Well, there's pictures, but they've never been sold. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, uh, Sam and I was, um, I lived in Essex for 30 years. Yeah, 30 years, and now I live in Kent. I much prefer Kent. Uh, what was the other thing? Who's my favorite celeb? Um, Oh, 
I don't know. I don't know what. Uh, it's hard to say, but I would. I'd go as far as to say currently, because like all I've, I've had proper relationships with some really sort of, you know, like decent names, decent names in the UK, decent names abroad. I've had relationships with lots of people, either directly or via PRs. Um, but they all change, like the, the the people that you meet when they're not really super famous and then they become super famous um they change they're different um and that sort of tarnishes the relationship a little bit but at the moment i would one of the most down-to-earth people i've worked with who is just normal is uh, i mean she's up and coming but well, up and coming she's incredibly successful but daisy may cooper She's absolutely brilliant. Like, just no shit. Just as it is. Um, you give you leads, people that know the celebs. Yeah, I mean, we get tips. That's, I mean, anyone on the live who ever gets tips on celebs, obviously give me a shout. And uh, we do pay for that as well. Um, have you followed Liam Payne Price? Is death. Um, have we shot Liam Payne? Yeah, of course. Um, we used to shoot, um, early on, we used to shoot X Factor, Britain's Got Talent, we used to be up on the fence when they used to come out, they all knew us, all the boys went to, um, all the boys went to Nando's and asked us how we can make them famous and we said throw food at each other and they did and we shot the pictures and it made all the papers. Yeah, I mean, like that was back, that was, that was literally when I started the job. Um, so yeah, we did. I have done, but I haven't shot them for. I haven't shot any of them. For a long, long time. They were all really private, and I'm always a little bit like I don't. Like unless there's a story and someone wants to be private, I just leave them be. Uh, is it true there was a big money to make if you got a picture of all four boys together? Nah, I mean, there was like, I didn't, I didn't count, but there must have been 50 photographers there. There isn't, there is nobody getting a picture of all four boys together yesterday and making a load of money. It just wasn't happening. He, do you know what? Even if they walked out hand in hand, hugging each other, no one was making any money yesterday. Uh, how many times a year do you go abroad for work? Um, once a month, maybe. Who do I reckon is going to win? I'm a celeb. I think Dean's got a chance because nobody knows who he is and he's a right old character. So everyone's learning who he is as it happens. Um, who else? Barry. I think Barry's got a chance. If he comes out of his shell a bit more, he's quite reserved. You know, other than that moment he's coming across as quite reserved. Um, but just guess what happens on the trials, really. I mean, there's a good chance of GK Barry. She's very funny. Very funny. Sorry, I'm just doing my porridge now. We're living the dream. We're having breakfast in the car. Breakfast on a live. Um, just going through these comments right there. Sam, and you're in Kent as well then. Whereabouts in Kent are you? Who decides what you get paid for, what you get paid a photo, or you or the paper? Uh, I, I would say it's... Um, I'd say it's a, a, an amalgamation of the two. You find a num number somewhere in between. They'll always ask you what you want. Uh, Favourite photo you've taken? God. Paul Mescal. Paul Mescal walking from a co-op back to his house. It was only about 50 yards in East London. 
they hack they only live in hack right Clapton 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 yeah Clapton um, he's walking along and he's got a, a can of gin in his hand and something else and he's wearing a little pair of shorts do you know what that picture got drawn by people it got shared I still sell it now it's not made me loads of money but it's just one of those pictures that I shot that was so random but has just gone so far and wide um, you sound like a very respectful pap. You try to be. It's just, yeah. You know, the job isn't like, as you explain. It's not like you try and be the best person you can. I try and be the best person I can. Uh, Barry's my auntie's nephew. Am I right in thinking Barry lives in Whitstable? I'm Medway myself. Look, loads of Kent people. Um, how much roughly per picture do you get paid? Sorry, just cheeky, just curious. Uh, it doesn't really work like that. Every picture is priced differently. So it can be anywhere online from for non-X pictures for 40, 30, 20, 10, stepping down as they use more pictures on a certain set. Or it could be... 200 grand you just you never know like i've just never, i know i've never shot a 200 grand picture but I'm, i do i do know it happens i mean that kate middleton video earlier on in the year sold for two or oh, quarter of a million pounds so it does happen were perhaps allowed at liam's wake yesterday no and the wake was actually at cheryl's house there's a bit of scoop for you um or at least i was told it was at cheryl's house uh, but there was strict rules they that no one was to photograph the wake and if anyone because obviously with everything you might get someone who's rogue if anyone who was rogue decided to go and do it uh, there was agreement that no one would publish the pictures uh, i have got instagram but it's private just because it's got my kids on and stuff uh who's the wildest person you've got wildest Steve-O from Jackass was pretty wild. Never known anyone like that. I actually had loads of respect for him. Until he was a bit rude when I saw him in South End about a year ago. Mm, yearish ago. But, yeah, I guess we all have bad days. Uh, they were invited by family to one of two entries. Yeah, we were told by the family and asked to stand in a certain area. And then anyone who wanted to go to the funeral, who wanted to remain private, could use the other entrance. So guests were told, um, if you go in via here, um, you will be photographed. Um, does anyone want a bit of... Well, it has been reported on in one place, but I do know something about yesterday that no one really knows about. Um, does a job regularly pay well enough to live comfortably in London? Yeah, it does, yeah. I don't live in London, but it does. Do you know if Liam was cremated or buried? I have no idea. Where's Liam now? Where did they bring him? I don't know. I mean, that's a follow nobody wants to be doing, isn't it? You've changed. What do you mean I've changed? Do I know you? Do I know you? Mel says I've changed. I'm not sure how I've changed. Uh, did the family let the paps be at Liam's funeral? Everyone, drop me a follow and I'll just drop you a bit of info about yesterday what did you know about yesterday here we go cremated i don't know if he was cremated i've no idea i'll tell you what all the diehard one direction fans will know this 100 percent, you'll all know this but normal people who just read the news won't um you just won't so anyway Kate with makeup seriously in a sad day she didn't have any respect 
did Zane, Louis, Harry and Niall interact with each other? We, we only saw them outside um, and we saw what you guys saw. Uh, thank you for all the follows. Um, right, so yeah, basically yesterday, I don't know if anyone saw, when all the cars arrived, if you look at my videos on here, you'll see in the top right hand corner of every car was a A4 printed piece of paper and it had a Batman sign on it, like the low Batman logo. Obviously, Liam was a massive Batman fa fan. So as like a nod to that, they, the, the, the sign in all the cars, so that the security knew the car was to do with the funeral and not a random, because obviously you could have an S-Class pull up and they would think the security aren't going to say, do you have an invite? Um, but it was a secret nod to security to everyone that the car was involved with the funeral was to have a Batman logo in the corner of the window. So if you look back on my videos, you will see that, um, yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm nervous to accept people who are asking. Let's have a go. I'll just disconnect if people are. How are you doing, Susan? I'm good, thank you. Is it, is it reflected, is any of you just wanted to join or I thought you might have a question or something? No, no, I just wanted to join, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I'll, uh, I'll let you jump off just because, um, yeah. It's just weird. Otherwise, I don't, I don't, I'm answering questions and I'll just get lost of it. I thought I might give it a go. Maybe we can make that work another day. Was there a deal not to photograph Bear? Yeah, there was a request by the family. It was very much a payoff. Like, here's the details of the funeral. This is where we're going to be. This is what we're okay for you to photograph. This is what we're not okay for you to photograph. If you come, can you follow these rules? That was basically it. Um, what order did the boys arrive yesterday? Oh, God. Um, Louis arrived. Louis arrived first. No, he didn't. Harry arrived first with James Corden, then Louis, then Zane, then Niall, I think. How did the how did the family give the nod that it was okay for Paps to be there? So there's something called so we have a we have a, a governing board, as it were, um, a regulator that oversees this industry. Um, and we have a set of guidelines and that that industry lead or that that governing not governing body um like a regulator it's called ipso and we have ipso guidelines we have an editor's code um and on that is a is a whole section about intrusion into grief so we if the family don't say it's okay or say nothing no one would use the pictures so they can either say they don't they want privacy they can either say nothing or they can say that they, they're happy for us to be in a you know a certain place so they released a statement via ipso um that said they were happy for photographers to be in a press pen at this place but if certain members of the family are don't want to be photographed they're going to use a different entry they didn't say they're going to use different entries but that's what they did and they basically said that they wanted everyone to stand in one area and they could photograph people who arrived via that entrance. That was basically what they said in a roundabout way. And it came via a solicitor, um, but it specifically said, it, it, it said members of the family who are grieving, who didn't want to be photographed. They didn't want them to be photographed, which obviously they had the different entrance for, but it did specifically name Bear. Um, Uh, how do you know how to con who to contact them? Well, we're, we're an agency in the UK and they contact us. So they know about us. So when people, when celebs go via Ipso, Ipso will then contact us direct. Does Bear not already have a legal protection to never publish him? I've never seen a photo of him. So what there is, is if as a parent, 
you because of Instagram and Twitter and, and TikTok, if you choose to post pictures of your child, you're giving carte blanche to the newspapers to also print pictures of your child because you're saying that you're okay with um, an image of your child being on the internet. But if your child has never been pictured um, and you've never offered your child up to be pictured in respect of like you've never gone to a red carpet with them or an event or anything like that, then it is a given no, nobody has to say anything the picture the face will always be blurred the picture can be the child can be photographed but the face will always be blurred you will never see a picture because they have they liam and and share sorry i was getting a phone call never to post a picture up of their child did the one boy? Uh, no one knows who went. I don't know who went to the wake. We did. We respected the family's wishes, and we're nowhere near it. Uh, he said the only thing what we see outside. So no, are you regulated to be a pat? I'm not regulated, but we have a set of guidelines that you're meant to adhere to. And if you don't adhere to them, you get in a lot of trouble. We can get in a lot of trouble. I feel so bad for Bear. Yeah, I mean, it's awful. Bear was definitely there, yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't have named him. Um, is it true they made a deal so Bear couldn't get photos of him? Yeah, that's true. Not a deal, but they just made a request. Nice to see you working and not chatting with Chris and the gang on MJ. Nice one. Cheers, Ruth. Sadie's creeping in here as well. Uh, how many photographers were in the pen? I don't know how many were there, but there was a lot of people with cameras. Be it fun. I mean, I, I, I said this yesterday, and it's a bit hypocritical of me, but I feel if you're stood there with a professional camera shooting for a publication, there's some validity in what you're doing. Like you you would hope you're doing it to a, a standard. But for the general public stood there with their phones out, like, why are you video? Like, I don't, I don't, I do, I've put it on my Instagram, on my TikToks. So it is slightly hypocritical, but the, the general public always blow my mind. Like, I, if I was there, I wouldn't film it. I'd just watch it and be respectful but um yeah there was probably there must have been probably 50 snappers there wouldn't everyone choose to go into the church the way bear did and not be seen ah welcome to the world of celebrity not everyone no our travel costs your biggest expense they are when it's flipping cold because i never turn the car off um there were people in the churchyard around the other side with their phones out ridiculous yeah because the problem is you can't control the it's very hard to control the general public why are you oh yeah i was shocked to see people videoing when the coffin arrived with phones but It's a weird old business. Celebrity is just a weird old business. There's a lot of interest in the funeral though yesterday. But I mean, I'm just glad there weren't oodles and oodles of fans there. I know there was like, for the diehard fans, there was an unwritten rule that none of you were going to go. I had seen that. Look, I'm eating. People of MJ. Um, I agreed with you. Um, if anyone wants to jump on the live, obviously just drop a message in the 
chat. Otherwise, I'm just adding random people. I don't mind talking. I don't mind being interviewed. What's the most famous celeb you... Oh, God. I have no idea. The Queen. The King. Harry. I like Harry. There's an unpopular opinion. I like Prince Harry. I don't know if he's making the right choices at the moment, but I do like him. Um, it's fine. Good. That's because I've, I've disconnected from the car. So now I've turned the car off. I'm going to freeze freeze to death but that's fine cheers Adam um, what was one of the questions yeah I've met Liam before he died yeah many a conversation did you take pictures of Princess Diana uh, no I wasn't doing it then um, have you done loads of celebrity funerals no it's not something I really sort of make a habit of probably four in 15 years. Was there any yelling from the snappers at the funeral or was that part of the rules? They would never, there would never be yelling. If it was summer, everyone would have worn dark clothing. Like there's, I don't know what, it's, this is the misconception about photographers and perhaps like, we're not going to stand there at some, you know, like I know he was a, a man, an adult, but essentially for all everyone who knew him, he was a kid. We're not going to stand there and shout like, it's mad. Uh, hello all the way from Australia. Whereabouts in Australia are you from? Who gets most vexed about being photographed? Hugh Grant absolutely hates it. With a passion. Paul Mescal hates it. Paul Mescal is so angry when you photograph him. Have a look at the video on, on here when he's filming Gladiator in Brighton. The guy sees me videoing. I'm only on a phone, like I could be a punter, but he sees me videoing and puts his hand in front of his face. Uh, I work all around the world, but I'm based in the UK. Yeah, the funeral's over, yeah. How do you plan your days? Do you go to certain places, don't see a celeb, or only if you have a lead? It all depends. I call, if I'm just going out looking, I call it hunting, because, you know, you, you don't know what you're gonna find. Um, South Australia, very nice. A country where everyone, everything's trying to kill you. I do love Australia though. I went to, I'm a celeb last year in Brisbane, and I absolutely loved Surfers Paradise. Like, it's the most amazing place in the world. Is there a holy grail photo that all perhaps would love to get? The picture that earns you the most money, or has earned the most money? Just give me that one. Give me the top 10. Let me have them in my library. Any people you saw going through the back entrance yesterday? Oh, at the funeral. Um, that weren't Pat that you can name. No, I didn't. It was a marquee setup, so a car could drive into the marquee. People could get out in the marquee and go in. I think I have to turn the heater on in the van. Ah, oh, the Liam thing's so sad. So so sad. Have you been to Adelaide? I haven't, no. Is there any rivalry between Paps? Yep. Do you think celebs are right to be mad at Paps? It does seem pestering. Sorry if that's rude. That's all right. I um, I say you can draw a line down the middle. And on this side, I'm the scum of the earth and I need to be struck down by God and die today. And on this side are a load of people, probably most on this live, that are interested, that want to know more, that want to hear how it works. Maybe even some people would like to have a go at it. And there's an interest. But what I will say is everybody 
it, everybody on this side and this side reads online news, news articles, magazines, papers, glances at the paper when they go in the shop. So, yeah, if it wasn't for people buying magazines, newspapers, we wouldn't have a job. Did you follow Gavin and Stacey whilst filming? Yeah, we did all the film, most of the filming. We um, we couldn't get the wedding though. It was annoying. I'm sure they filmed outside on the Sunday, on the Saturday, but we only got the location on the Sunday. And when we turned up, I didn't film any of that. When I turned up, we had to we had to go through a field. I say we, the two people I was working with, I just let them go on with it because the field was muddy and there was a river that was running through and I wasn't up for crossing a river, but they did. Um, but it was all inside. Uh, were you there when Justin Bieber came to the UK or have you seen the clip? Are you talking about the clip with Paul? Yeah, where Bieber goes mad. I think Justin was going for a bit of an episode when that all went on I don't think that's normal behavior for him because he will normally have a conversation with snappers in America and stuff um, where are we forever and a half so how do you get information about the location of celebs via tippers so if anyone on this live knows any info about celebs then obviously hit me up and I do pay for it. What's your opinion on Liam's death? Do you think it's suspicious? I'm not, I have no idea. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna speculate. It's not my place to. And I think it's really disrespectful as well. Um, people who are in a position to decide that will decide that. What's been your longest stake out? Um, probably about three weeks. You'd be amazed how much people don't come out. So many celebs are really boring. What's a shot you didn't get but wish you had? Cheryl when she was pregnant. So we had a tip that she was filming a children's charity advert. I think it was like an NSPCC advert. Uh, a, it was in East London. Well, no, it was like East North London, North East London. At uh, a random place, it was like a, um, like in East London, they have these big banqueting halls that are predominantly used by the Indian community to have big old parties. But they've always got like big high gates and fences and stuff. But it was there and the driver must have seen me because I knew the driver, but I was in a new car. He must have seen me because I pulled up, saw the driver and then drove out. And then I went in, there was a college next door. This sounds so dodgy, but I went into the college and I sat and waited with a five, I think I had a 500 mil, sat and waited with a 500 mil and then she was about seven months pregnant. And she run out the door to the car. And her brother is always with her. Like you can't attach to the hip. And they were laughing and I will never forget it. And I didn't get the picture. And if I could go back, that's the shot I'd want. Because it pissed me off that I've never, I missed it. Have you ever gone over to the Beverly to Beverly Hills? What are the celebs like there? Uh, I went over for like, I've been over multiple times, but I went for like three weeks when Towie filmed in Vegas, and um, I had a gambling problem at the time, and I just get, I was three weeks of not having a bet. I'm ten and a half years now, but um, I was I was a couple of weeks out of having a bet, and I went and worked LA for two weeks and did a lot of stuff for Rita Ora and bless her when she was still around Sarah Harding we used to work with both of them um, 
so shot them and then went over to Vegas and uh yeah it's an amazing place but I handed I had to hand my bank card part of my recovery was I had to give any sort of money or any way of getting any money to the person that I was working with so I gave him my bank card as soon as I pulled up in Vegas and um I spent four days in Vegas absolutely starving because I had no money had Liam gone back to Wolverhampton to get buried or cremated? No idea. Have you ever gone out, uh If a celeb is going for a real tough time, do you back off or just ramp it up? No, I'd back off. There's quite a few people that... Um, there's quite a few people that can back that up. Like, I am somebody who... Just got another phone call. Um, I am somebody who will go out of my way to help somebody if I feel that they're um, if they're in danger or if, yeah. I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not one of those people. Um, uh, sorry, it keeps jumping about. Did you ever meet Amy Winehouse? Yeah, and then shot her funeral. Which was grim. Hello, amigo. I'm from Argentina, I think that means. Uh, can you share the story about the shot you're most proud of? Um, I don't know what I'm most proud of. I wouldn't say there's a shot I'm most proud of. Have you ever photographed secret famous hookups and it never gets published? No, I've not had that. I do know people it's happened to. Um, I know people that have been paid off by celebs. I know celebs who have been shot doing drugs and then they've bought the pictures. I don't think Rita was at the funeral. I don't know, I don't know who went in that back entrance. But Rita might be working abroad, that might not be her fault to be just in her defense. Thank you for doing this live, that's all right. Well done on stopping the gambling from someone who lost someone to a gambling addiction. Yeah, do you know what? It's been a long time, but I wouldn't go back to it, and I have a lot of stuff now that I never would have had them, because it all would have been up the wall. Um, But yeah, I mean, I would never, anyone who gambles, like the, you'll never go into a casino. I've only ever learned this since I gave up, but you'll never go into a casino or a bookies or anywhere like that. And they're struggling. They're always, Shan, I'll back that up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen, there's times when you've got to photograph stuff just because it's going on, but it doesn't mean you don't have to be human about it. Um, yeah, you don't have, you, 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 yeah. There's still people, you know. Do you reckon there's, do you reckon they're in because they've got a tip off for you? No, it's, it, the new iPhone says, um, when I got it, they, uh, he offered like a service where they tell you whether the, the call is a nuisance call and every single call that's come through says likely nuisance. To go to Vegas and not gamble is a huge achievement. It's also hell. Um, cheers, Chantel. Um, have you ever been starstruck? Uh, yeah, a couple of times. A couple of times I've been able to have proper conversations with people and I start tripping over because I'm like, Shh. like this is a really good opportunity to like possibly build a relationship with this person. And for a, from, from a business point perspective, it's really good. And then I get really nervous because it's like someone I've watched on TV or followed. There's a couple of people I really love to work with. And I think I could do them 
um, I could really, I could really help them. Yeah. Have you ever met Gaga? Yeah. Gaga's fans are bonkers as well. Do you follow soap stars? Yeah, I mean, listen, the, the main, the mainstay of my business is said listers It's not A-listers, because A-listers don't really do a lot. Um, they just don't really do a lot. I'm a big Take That fan. Have you had any many interactions with them? Yeah, I've had a couple with all of them. Um, I really like Robbie, but he hates us. And it's kind of like, it's a bit, I'm a bit torn by him because I really respect him for getting clean and sorting his head out and living a better life. I really respect that because given the situation and, and, and the business that he's in, that is not an easy task. But then he talks so badly about, not me personally, but the business and what we do. And my head is definitely torn with him because I want to shout at him and be like, you don't know me, you don't know how I operate or my... I've got people ringing me. Might have to go in a minute and ring some people back. Um, did you ever? No, I've never met Reginald Norse. Yeah, I think Robbie has been hurt by the media. I mean, when I, I, I watched his documentary with, you know, eyes wide open and some of the stuff that went on, some of the stuff that went on in the nineties, full stop, was bang out of order. Like, you'd never get away with that now. You couldn't do it. You know, the stuff they were writing. I follow and shot the Kardashians. Any views on Princess Diana and Paps? My opinion is the Paps didn't kill Princess Diana. There's an unpopular opinion. A Pap was not driving that car. Um... She'd been photographed all night. Why on earth were they trying to speed away? I don't get any of it. It doesn't make any sense. I wasn't around, I didn't do the job. I was a child. But none of it makes sense. Knowing the business now and knowing the people that work in it and how we operate. Oh, fuck. Right, I hope no one screen recorded that. Um, yeah, it just wouldn't happen. I reckon you should do more lives when you're working. It would be great to watch. Yeah. Yeah, it would. It would. Um, it's just like I keep... I'm just seeing if there's any celebs watching this now who would jump on a live. I'm just going through the list. Give me a second. Oh, I don't think there is. There was. Keeps changing. I wanted to get like a... Um, I wanted to get like a... Because I know, obviously, this comes up on certain celebs and things. Yeah, I want to. Just, I, it's no way of. I didn't know you could mark learning things every day. Yeah, everyone tap the screen. Tap, tap, tapity, tap, tap. <laughs> um, anyone who knows my other account will know that someone says that all the time. Um, 
what made you become a pat well there's the question i will do a video on this so i was sat home in quite an unhappy um in quite an unhappy relationship very unhappy relationship and didn't really know what I was going to do work-wise and was just spending a lot of time procrastinating and I ended up falling down a YouTube hole and I wanted to get into photography but I tried to get a bank loan to open a photography studio and been declined I mean this is 14 15 years ago and then I saw a video there's a six-part video on YouTube um, I think it was uploaded by a guy called Benny Wazza. And it's all about being a pap. It was on TV. And I watched that and was like, I want to do that. That looks really cool. Like, really cool. I want to do that. So I went out for three nights. And on two, two of the nights, I got absolutely nothing. And on the third night, I shot Avram, Gar the, 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 Avram Grant. Uh, walking out of a casino and I wasn't even there for that I was on looking at something on the other side of the road and someone went oh that's out from Grant and I don't do football and I had no idea who he was shot it dropped his wallet he was drunk turns out he was a West Ham manager and West Ham had just lost and he said oh I'm not going out for my birthday because we've lost but he did and that made that page of the sun and I was hooked like proper hooked and it went from there uh, Sadie, you work a lot with Arj, don't you? Um, I've known Arj a very long time. I have a load of time for Arj. 